What's up guys, Sean here, and this is the Rockstead Hizen Review. This is a very high-end, very expensive knife, and I am going to be uh, going over my thoughts and opinions on this. Okay, so here's my grading. Starting off with the Ergos. We give this a four out of five. It doesn't have bad Ergos. Pretty neutral, no hot spots, but it's just not necessarily like actually comfortable either. So I docked at a point. Um, you know, I did not take it easy or cut this knife any slack because we're talking $700 knife so um, best believe I am you know not cutting any slack the clip gets a 4 out of 5 uh, I think that's kind of being generous from what I read it's actually a stainless steel clip um you know, you would think they would do titanium on a knife this expensive, but, you know, I can't tell you why they make the decisions that they do. Um, not only that, but the scales on this are made of... I wrote it down somewhere, but I found it interesting. Here we go. So $710 knife. The handles are made from 7075 Dura Lumen, which um, is a hard light alloy consists of zinc, aluminum, copper, and more element elements. Um, and they are fluted. So it, it's a premium material. It's definitely lightweight. I'm sure it is strong. Mm, I mean, it's an interesting choice. I can't really knock it because I'm not an expert on that material, but uh, I don't know, guys. It does have a steel lock bar insert, um, and it is a blued steel pocket clip, which, you know, I don't, I don't think that's really anything special. The blade is where we have something special. So this is a DLC mirror polish. Uh, it's not something you see every day. Very beautiful. Um, and then I'm not sure if this is the XYR7 blade or the ZDP 189. Hopefully it is the ZDP 189 because that is the, the nicer or the higher performance out of the two. Um, it's a, the X, the X, Y, R7 is cheaper and tougher at a Rockwell rating of 64 HRC. And the ZDP 189 is a laminated uh, a laminated steel and it comes in at 67 HRC which is very very hard and will give you uh, insane edge retention but not only that because it is laminated and with Rockstead's heat treat process it's also very tough so um it 
the blade is definitely something special. Uh, I think that's probably, you know, a good majority of the money you are paying is for the blade and all their special processes and, you know, I mean, other than that, the handles are beautiful. The blade is beautiful. The fit and finish is good. I mean, it's excellent. It's perfectly centered. There's no play anywhere. You surprisingly do have good lock bar access because it looks like you have a very tiny little opening right there, but it is designed to where that little bit of space makes plenty of difference. Um, I think that combined with the fact that thumb studs do come out a good bit, so that was a good choice on their part. Um, one thing that I just found out about this, um, just messing around with it, this has been at, I've had this in my possession for like well over a month, maybe going on two. And I just picked up on this little tab right here. You can front flip this. I don't think this is designed to be a front flipper, but, um, you can actually... Oh, of course, when you try to demonstrate something. All right, you guys get the idea. Um, I wouldn't call it a reliable method, but um, I mean, you could modify this, add a little bit of jimping, and you could make it a reliable front flipper. I mean, it's really not that difficult. See, while I'm not really trying too hard, it's a lot easier. All right, you guys get the idea. Um, lock bar access, I already went over that. Lock up is good. Fit and finish. Materials, I'm gonna call good because the blade, their, their whole process that they go about everything. Um, I'm gonna say materials, fit and finish are both perfect five out of fives. Aesthetic, perfect five out of five. Hardware, this is an area that I haven't talked about yet. Hardware, I would give them a 10 out of five if that was fair to all the other reviews. You have some super beefy, overbuilt, oversized hardware. Um, you have a pivot screw. You have one screw for a standoff and one screw for the clip. That is beautiful. And then you have a captured pivot and a captured standoff screw. The only other screw would be for the steel lock bar insert. And that's only one screw. So that is a very minimalist construction, um, yet very sturdy. I do like that. So, um, you know, they definitely gained some points in that category. Very nicely done. The handle gets a five out of five. We do have a beautiful fluted DLC coated handle. Um, it is very pleasing on the eyes and it seems to be excellent quality. Um, Carrie got a five out of five. This knife is very what? Blah. This knife is very lightweight with these Duralumin scales. Um, Rockstead did a good job at keeping the weight down on this. I mean, it is a smaller knife, so you don't expect it to be heavy, but it's not light to the point that it feels weak, or maybe it is that light, but it still feels solid. It doesn't feel weak, doesn't give off that impression, but it will carry pretty much like a feather. 
Um, factory Edge, five out of five. Blade category, five out of five. This comes from the factory with a special convex edge. Acoustics gets a, I rated it at a two out of five. Um, just like I, I said in the beginning, I'm not cutting this knife any slack at this price point and there's just nothing exciting to me or really satisfying about the acoustics at all. I mean it's not it's not that they're bad, but they're not good either. Um fidget factor gave it a two out of five. It is not fall shut whatsoever. It is 100% shake shut. It's not like a gentle little bit of encouragement. I mean, you have to give it some um, thrust. Um, for overall design, I gave this a four out of five. I think it is a wonderful design, but I do see plenty of room for improvement. Um, for the value, I gave it a two out of five. Um, from what I understand, the smaller Rocksteads are not as popular, yet they are still quite expensive. With them not being as highly sought after, um, you can find them on the secondary market for several hundred dollars less, um, you know, and pretty much like new condition so um damn uh i'm gonna go ahead and say that i do not consider that to be an excellent value um just because you're, you're not going to get your money back out of it um unless you buy it secondhand secondary market Um, then cutting, I give it a four out of five. It's, uh, it's not a bad cutter, but it would be better. I believe it would be better with a V grind edge. That's just my personal opinion. Don't take that as, you know, fact or law. Uh, I'm just giving you guys my opinions here. And then the other thing so they carry this flat down very far. If they started tapering down sooner, it would um, it would make for better cutting, better slicing. But I mean, the way they have it designed makes for better strength and toughness, especially with how hard this steel is. Um, in order to maintain a high level of toughness at that high of an HRC you do have to work some magic with the blade grind I mean that's your only chance of having a blade this hard and still being tough so I can't really hold that against them uh, this thing is also a major major fingerprint magnet but when you have it all clean it is absolutely beautiful But, um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this. I scored, I gave this a score of 83 out of 100. Not a horrible grade, but, I mean, it's, it's honestly 100% transparency and 100% honest with you guys. It's not a good score. Not for $700. No way, no way, no way. Um, there, there's knives under $200 that I have, you know, scoring over 90 easy, you know, high nineties, mid to high nineties. So once again, this is just my personal preferences, my personal opinion. And yes, this is an awesome knife. I think it's a, an amazing knife, but $700, I can't justify it personally. But, um, you know, I'm not writing off, uh, 
Rockstead just yet. Um, you know, hopefully in the future I'll get my hands on one of their larger ones, maybe some different models, so I can, you know, get a better idea of their their range of options and a little bit better picture and understanding of them as a company and knife maker. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.